Hi folks and welcome to another Odd Artworks. I'm Dewan Moore, illustrator and artist, and I'm continuing my artistic interpretations of D&D monsters. This week I'm looking at the thinking man's monster, the Mind Flayer. Okay, these guys have been in the game for a long time. Their design hasn't changed much over the years. Essentially they're a skinny fellow with an octopus for a head. That alone is pretty scary. Right, their description reads, Mind Flayers, also called Illithids, are the scourge of sentient creatures across countless worlds, psionic tyrants, slavers, and interdimensional, interdimensional voyagers. They are insidious masterminds that harvest entire races for their own twisted ends. Four tentacles snake from their octopus-like heads, flexing in hungry anticipation when sentient creatures come near. I actually don't think there's anything wrong with their design. Uh, in fact, I quite like it, and I like how popular it is at the moment. But a few people have requested this one, so I'm going to give it a good crack anyway. Okay, so I'll be fully honest, I had a bit of a full-on week this week. Uh, my teaching job required me to do an awful lot of extra hours, and I had a few commissions on that needed attention, so I did not give this probably the time it deserved. Uh, so I did something I never do and I never recommend anyone does. I just won't get, I didn't do any preliminary sketches. I got an idea in my head and I went with it. So I didn't really want to change too much with the Mind Flayer. The, the main thing being I wanted to give him a big hump on his back and kind of his breastplate to be more of a rib cage. Like, like if he's in, from another dimension, perhaps gravity doesn't work quite swell, so well and he, he kind of doesn't really know how to stand up. So the drawing went fine, the only thing that I changed was I elongated his figure when I transferred it to the board because I felt he was a bit stumpy. Um, I added more tentacles to his mouth because I thought that would be more horrific and I, I still think I'm right about that. Uh, I underpainted the whole thing in a blue because uh, I knew I was going to give give him kind of a pinkish skin. So I, I kind of wanted those dark tones. And the robe, I didn't really have too much of a clue what I was doing, I wanted it to be kind of just dark and uh, you know just just covering him up I didn't want any emblems on it or anything like that so I just put a wash of pink on before I do the rest of the underpainting just so I know what I'm doing um, with the background I painted everything like a kind of reddish pink to begin with and I was just gonna put kind of a, a blue sky color over the top like I've done with some of the others uh, but you'll see in a moment that uh, about halfway through that I kind of changed my mind I kind of thought about the character a little bit more um, this was a very quick painting. I did this over a period of, I think, two lunch breaks while I was teaching, so it was maybe two hours, not even that. Um, but with the background, I kind of like the idea that he's an inter interdimensional traveller, he gets in your head, gets in your mind, so I wanted something a bit different, so I created almost like a, I don't know, like a cosmic scene using blues and that red underpainting, and then just splattered some makeshift stars over the top of it. Okay, I really love painting these sort of crevices and details in these monsters' faces. So I've just gone back in with kind of a purple to put in some of the some of the more details that have gone got a bit awry when I put the wash over the top of it. And I, I'm very aware that I'm going to wash over the top of that again as well. Um, but yeah, you know these these guys are just nightmare fuel. So that was that was my intent with that. Uh, so I spent a long time on the face. I felt like that was the most important part of this character. Uh, and his hands. I quite enjoy doing hands. I just enjoy painting hands in general, really. And if, if you're struggling with uh, drawing anatomy, always do hand exercises or feet. You know, you'll get, you'll be amazed at how quickly you improve at drawing and your ability to solve problems. Okay, so I was quite happy with the face at this point. Uh, so I, I put in a few highlights. Uh, and I think once I got the eyes in, which I put in in a moment, I was relatively pleased with the, the face. So I was able to move on to the robes, which uh, if I'm being honest, I think I was probably putting off a little bit because it's a big area on the painting and really wanted to get it right. But yeah, I think the, the, those sort of red eyes give him a really sinister look. Um, I'll be honest, I love painting cloth, I love painting wrinkly shirts and robes and things like that, so I was quite self-indulgent with this. Uh, I worked with blacks and purples, and just going in with kind of a creamy colour uh, called Buff Titanium, which is the best name for a paint ever. Uh, and just sort of building up where I think the fold should be and where the light would be hitting it. Uh, and I was really pleased with the robes in the end. Um, 
All right, I don't think I've got too much more to say about this. It went relatively according to plan. I think if I was to do it again, I maybe would have spent a bit more time on the initial design, trying to push it a bit further. But like I said, I actually quite like the design of the Mind Flayer. I don't really think it needs much doing to it. And they are quite prevalent in uh, in both pop culture and D&D. So, you know, there is a lot of stuff out there and, you know, a lot of it is really, really, really good. And I really like the design, it's well thought out. Um, so yeah, this is just my interpretation. Um, as always folks if you like the video give it a like and subscribe for more I put out a new video every Thursday uh, and if there is a monster that really really winds you up you really don't like the design or you could you think something else needs to happen let me know in the comments and I will stick it on the list and you know I'm building quite a good list for these videos now uh, so yeah I'll let you enjoy the rest of this and I will see you next time folks take it easy goodbye now